I just think that scary, scary stuff in general. It's just like scary movies. Like it's just it's only scary movies and, and comedies that have that power of getting that visceral, vocal reaction from the audience in a theater, right? And that communal experience of going all together with a bunch of strangers to watch these movies is so powerful. Like again, like it's, I think it's just comedies that get you to laugh out loud, and these ones that get you to scream and jump that are so unique. And for me, just as a filmmaker, I like to be there. Usually when I'm in the theater, I'm looking over my shoulder at the time, just looking at people's faces and seeing their reaction. Just provoke strong emotions from the audience. Whatever that emotion is, is always great. And and um, and fear is such a big one that, uh, that gets your body to react in weird ways. <laughs> I think it's just great as a filmmaker to, you know, put people through that. Well, I think he did an amazing job. I mean, he's unique. He's one of those guys that's unique. Like, there's no two like him, right? There's not another guy that's 65 and so fit and strong that has such a presence. But also, like, he's such a great actor. Like, he, he takes you through so many emotions in the film without saying much. Actually, he says very little. But you really get to know him and understand him. And you might not agree with the things he does, but you understand his pain and where he's coming from. And that was, it's, it's very hard to do. I mean, just really good actors have that level, you know, that presence and that emotion in them that just get you to connect and empathize with them, right? So. The dream when you create any character as a writer, as a director, is, is to do something that you, nobody can compare to anybody else and say, oh, he's just like this guy in this movie. Sometimes it is from a guy in a movie in a movie from the 30s and nobody's like, but still, like this one, you really can go back and it's very hard to find a character you can, can you can compare it with, with. and uh, and I think that's that's for me it's it's a pleasure, right? To and that's when you you see that they have, you know, just to have the strength to be able to be iconic because they're unique. There's nobody else like him. It's not a single genre. Right? So we did, I think, a very. Uh, I think the story does a very clever mix of thriller and horror. And usually it's always like the key for any movie to feel fresh and new is to do a combination of maybe two genres and turn them into something that is new and fresh. And I think because it has so much of thriller and so much of horror and so much of like home invasion, like it's a mix of all these things, they turn into something though I, at its core is a horror movie, then you can find there's a lot more to it, right? Than just a horror movie, right? It's nothing like they've seen before, and and it will be. There's no way to guess what the movie is. They think they have an idea when they go in. Most movies are exactly what you think it was, and this one is a complete surprise. Like from one point on, you have no idea where you're going, right, and what you're getting into. Hey, did you know that Walt Disney refused to allow Alfred Hitchcock to film at Disney in the early 1960s because he made that disgusting movie Psycho. For this and more movie facts, click on more videos or click on the playlist for more trailers.